So you find many people getting deceived because they are, they are not reading the word of God. CEO of the biggest company in Africa or the world. But if you are corrupt, according to God, you are a corrupt One man. One of my friends was telling me that he want to venture in the dildo business because a friend of his is, get, is making money, is delivering dildo every household in Nairobi. Women. I've replaced men with dildo. Praise Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back again. God bless you. Now, a quick one. Three things that you must master in your life. If you can only master these three things in your life, then you are ready to succeed. You are guaranteed success huh? you are guaranteed success desire to master these three things in your life and you are guaranteed success you are guaranteed to to be great in fact if you master these three things you are destined for greatness. And one, oh, oh sorry, the appetites of your body. If you can master to control the appetites of your body, you can't, your body can't control you, your body can't, um, you know, harass you, if you can master to tame the appetites of your body, then you are destined for greatness. And when I'm talking about the appetite, it means food, yeah, food, a sexual appetite, and many other kind of appetites, but majorly sexual appetites, uh, and food and what else yeah whatever you know whatever your body has to be done for I'm, I'm in a desire you understand if you can master that appetite both your the body appetite then you're destined for greatness number two if you can master the revelation of the word of God, if you can totally understand the revelation of the word of God, if you can master the revelation of the word of God, the revelation of the word of God, you master that. You understand the word of God in and out. You've read the word of God completely. You've understood it. You can't be deceived by the word of God. You know it. Nobody can lie to you or use it to manipulate you. Then you're heading, you're heading towards greatness. And you also do as it says listen if we, when you look at, in the book of Matthew chapter 4 the Bible is talking from verse 1 to 11 the Bible is talking about Jesus uh, being tempted by the devil and one thing the devil tempted Jesus with was he asked him Sorry, I had to switch position because there is a fundi making something out there and it was making noise on, in the other room. But as I was saying, and now Jesus led by the Spirit to the holy mountains for prayer and fasting, uh, to be tempted as the word says. And one of the temptations was, if you are the Son of God, 
just after fasting why don't you transform this bread this stone into bread and you know when you look that at that scenario you realize Jesus was very angry because the bible has said he was angry and he had just fasted for 40 days man 40 days so it means you can imagine somebody looking at somebody who has fasted for 40 days is next to death is looking you know very mal- malnourished but jesus gathered a little strength or power and he replied and said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that is coming out of his mouth and we see that he was able to overcome the temptation of body appetite because he had denied himself food and he had denied himself uh, t- testing God by because of his, his personal personal uh, issues or situation that's why some of us he, remember he was anointed and very powerful that's why some of us when God has empowered us we use those powers in the wrong manner we find ourselves um, instead of using the power to bless others we therefore become selfish and you know we use everything uh, for our sake for example those people who get employed in you know big offices you see them practice a lot of nepotism where they employ you understand what i'm saying people use power to benefit themselves but we see jesus didn't use his own power to benefit to benefit to benefit himself because of the appetite of his body or his stomach you understand and the second one as i was telling you is having the revelation and the word of god mastering the word of god knowing the word of god completely because the second temptation was if you are the son of god jump from this uh temple and you know as the word says he will not allow you to dash and he will send angels to to assist you and jesus replied we should not the word also says we should not tempt our god that means if jesus did not know the word like some of us who don't read the word we just we just go to church on sunday can you miss whatever you have been taught by the pastor and the and the prophet and the church leaders that is what you remain with or you engage with the whole week or in, the, in your life you don't have personal time to do proper research of the word of god it's very very important because remember even eve was tempted or was confused by the word of god because satan or the devil just twisted the word of god and eve fell so number one the appetites of your body that is food and sexual appetite and every, any other appetite of your body if you can master to control the appetites of your body and number two the revelation of the word of god if you can master reading the word of god and pursuing the revelation of the word of god you will not be deceived by the shakaholas <laughs> The, that's why you find many people getting deceived because they are, they are not reading the word of God. Huh? How do you test the spirit if it's a deceiving spirit? Any spirit that denies that Jesus is the Lord is a deceiving spirit. So we must read the word of God every day. Every day and pursue mastery of the word of god 
The last one that you must the last one that you must overcome power and splendor of this universe. That was the third temptation that Jesus was tempted with. He was shown the splendor and the power of this universe. And he was told, if you just bow down to me. Now, devil, the devil realized this is the son of God. He knows the word. Now, I will not tempt him with the word. He has mastered it. I can tempt him with the appetites of his body. But what about the splendor and the kingdom of this world? That's why we are in the street rioting. That's why people are fighting. Because of the kingdom and the powers of this world. That's why people are killing each other. Because of the powers and the kingdom. The splendor of this world. If you can overcome to be tempted. By the things of this world, by the splendor, you will not kill, you will not do something wrong to somebody to get by. Then, you are on the right track, you are heading to greatness. You are one of those people that will be told, welcome good and faithful servant. Good and faithful servant. But, how many of us? When we are awarded power, we forget ourselves. When we are presented by the splendors of this world, we forget ourselves. How many of us? May God help us to overcome the appetites of our body. May God help us to master the word of God and have revelation of the word of God. May God help us not to be moved or be shaken by the splendors and the things of this world. And the things of this world. <laughs> huh? Those three things will deny you greatness according to the eyes of God. You might have the splendor the wrong way. You might be living in splendor. In, in splendor, but you've acquired them in the wrong manner. You might have the powers of this world, but you've acquired them in the wrong way. According to the eyes of God, you are nowhere close to greatness. You are a thief. The world might call you the president, but according to God, you are a thief. You might be the CEO of the biggest company in Africa or the world. But if you are corrupt, according to God, you are a corrupt man. Pursuing greatness and the things of God and the excellence of God is not easy. Overcoming the appetites of our body is not easy. That's why we find uh, one, of, one of my friends was telling me, that he want to venture in the dildo business because a friend of his is get, is making money, is delivering dildo every household in Nairobi. Women have replaced men with dildos. That's why. Huh? Appetite. That's why you find people nowadays. People are eating unhealthy every time. Kukula, kukula, kukula. Then, magonjwa zinatokea. Daktari wakiulizo anasema 80% of diseases men get is because of the, the way they eat, the lifestyle of their intake. Huh? People are getting deceived because they, are, they don't read. They don't want to master the... They read it to master the word of God and to read the word of God day and night. In the Bible, in the Bible, it, talk, it talks about reading the word of God day and night and meditating on it day and night. Joshua 1 8. And not letting depart from your mouth. One of the hardest things that is happening nowadays is people, people find 
find it, they want, but they can't find time to read the word of God. Because that's where you get illuminated. That's where you get the light. That's where your eyes are open. Because you gain wisdom. When you gain wisdom, illumination has, be, uh, has be, becomes part of you. And when illumination is part of you, you cannot be fooled. God bless you. I love you so much. Keep on subscribing. Keep on sharing. God bless you. Mwah.